Fear No Evil is powered by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Driving in the Ram, 30 plus hours across the country, we had no idea. Fear No Evil are the words that we live by. Fear No Evil to us is, evil is anything that keeps us from doing great things or doing what God put us on this earth to do. We do a lot of traveling. We're rolling across the country in the Ram, chasing our dreams. We had no idea that this trip would change our lives forever. yesterday. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of that moment. That day will live in my mind forever. I'll replay it a million times and if I had a time machine I would go back to that one day. That one day where the fog was rolling in and it was cool and crisp. <laughs> Alberta, Canada. Right over there. And we'll be able to see him and then be able to make a plan. For night. Because I don't want to I don't want to put a night stand up for you until I know what they're doing. This isn't your normal whitetail hunt, the ones you see on TV where camera crew rolls in, sits in a tree stand, there's a buck coming out 30 yards, they're gonna shoot him. Nah. <laughs> We're hunting some of the biggest, wildest whitetails in the world. Alberta, Canada, northern Alberta outfitters. Ben has the whitetails. He's taking us to about the 50 yard line. We got to go the other 50 and score a touchdown. We got to make that one shot. We've got to figure out these big deer. Ben Coquel, he's like, as close as I know, the real deal wildlife whitetail biologist, man. He eats, sleeps, and breathes and lives with his deer, studies him. He has his whole life. And one of the strongest men I've ever met. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be like the meeting of the minds. This is a man that knows whitetails in Alberta. And I can adapt any situation growing up in the heartland of Illinois, hunting some of the hardest whitetails in the world to figure out and kill. And we got Chip City laying down footage and documenting it all. So that's the mission. Hang the muddies, run the multries, and find the perfect spot to kill a big one. That's what we do best. Laziest kid I know, but he thinks he's the smartest kid alive. Deer coming back, I think. Be able to see a long ways. It's a good start to 
good start to the season to be able to see deer and uh, hopefully we get a crack at one walking down the edge of this timber line between the field and this thick beautiful timber. Man, this is gorgeous up here. Booyah, let's go scouting. Go relax, get our stuff together. Let's fear no evil, Alberta style. Booyah. Fear No Evil, brought to you in part by... It's not just a lighted knock, it's a Luminoc. See where your arrow goes. Fear No Evil and shoot Luminoc. Fear No Evil is brought to you by... Martin Archery, take your best shot. Scentlock, proven deadly. Rage, leading the revolution in lethal technology. Moultrie, your source for total game management. Night and Hail Game Calls. It's your call. Code Blue. Perfecting the science of hunting. We made it. Northern Alberta Outfitters. Don't get any cooler than this. Some of the biggest deer in the world. The muddies are hung. We've ran the moultries. And the first set is going to be at an observation stand. We've muddied the water by setting these cameras and setting these tree stands, and we're gonna sit back and see if we can see what is going on and really take all that in instead of diving right in and spooking everything. But it could happen at this first set. But staying back and watching the area on the first couple hunts, that's how to do it. That's how to kill the big ones and get close. by far the biggest deer I've ever seen in my entire life. 200 inch mega giant walking out across this hay field. Everything that we've done has worked. We've got tons of trail camera pictures of this big boy, but to actually see him walking in daylight. You know, we know where he's bedding and we know where he's feeding, but there's no possible way we can get in on him without spooking him to hunt him in the evening. So we've got to throw up a new set of muddies and we're going to sit back and try to lay eyes on him again. You can't get sloppy with big deer. That's why we're sent locked to the gills. So the plan is for these whitetails to come across this field, hit the power line and walk straight to us. Off to our left is this water source. It's a puddle. Most people would laugh and go, that's a water source. It's a puddle, man. They'll drink out of a puddle and most guys, most whitetail hunters will overlook that in early season or any time when deer are on the move and really that they need water. So the plan worked. We've got deer in and around that water source coming straight to it. We've even got deer working the power line, but the big boy didn't show. But the wind's gonna be different in the morning. We're going back to the same set, and that's where we're gonna kill him if we're gonna kill him.
Fear No Evil is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Garment Verb. Life, camera, action. Bloodsport. 100% carbon hand sorted arrows. Luminoc. Know where your arrow goes. Easy Cut. Horny Buckseed Company. Muddy Outdoors. And FNEGear.com. Let's go get my arrow. 
quick, get out of here, because that buck went off into that timber. Get a crack at him tonight. Probably one of the best and worst days of my life. 200 inch whitetail, kickers and stickers and double brows in velvet, broad daylight, second day of the hunt in Alberta. Most amazing creature I've ever seen walking on this, on this earth. My whole dreams are shattered in one brief pull of the trigger, living for that five seconds of glory. So I've gone over a million times why I missed that deer. I think you play human error into it. I think you play conditions into it. And really what it comes down to is my bow was just too loud. This is a new step in my life, like to where I really want to quiet my equipment down and I've got new equipment. You live and you learn and you grow and I'm shooting a new bow this year. I'm shooting a Martin and I'm glad I am. And one of the big reasons was I really thought about my equipment after this missing this giant deer. So I wanted to make sure that the bow I was shooting was not only the best piece of equipment that I had used to date, but was also the quietest. My Martin Nemesis Nitro, it's got vibration dampening built into the limbs, into the riser, into the string. I'm going to keep playing this over my head, but hopefully I'll never have another story like this that it was because my bow was loud. No excuses. biggest buck of your life. Well, you don't cry about it. There's fear no evil. You get back up and you hang another set of muddies and you go after it. We're going to the opposite end of the water hole of the power line. We're going to try to cut these big bucks off trying to skirt this field because now they definitely know we're here. weirdest sets we've ever sat in our entire lives. We're about 35 foot off the ground. We've got trails right here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. All these deer are pinching down to this one corner. This morning we missed a 205 to 210 inch mega giant buck. We have since nicknamed him Chuck Norris because nobody can kill Chuck Norris. And if you kill Chuck Norris, you're a legend. Well. We're after Chuck Norris. We pull this off. You'll remember it for a long time. We got sunglasses on because it's about 85 degrees. We're in the sun. We can see a long ways. We're on, we're on two main areas right here. Two main trails. But we're really just watching and taking into our melon, into our head everything that's happening because we're after some big big deer you guys hang in there with us today because we got you an extra muddy tree stand you're on that muddy arm you're with us you just watched one of the craziest things in my life ever happen missing that 200 inch deer but he ain't gone and he ain't dead he's not scared of nothing so let's do this <laughs> see Chuck in the evening, so we're going back to the same too tall set that we just hung in the morning. It's going to be great. We're back in the same set. As soon as the sun comes up, we're covered up in deer. Not just deer, giant Alberta whitetails. 
I look to my left and there is the biggest A pointer I've ever seen. The one I passed up on day number two right underneath me. He's 165, 170 inch deer. This deer's out there. I go ahead and pull up my binos. I look at him and I look past him and who's standing out next to the island? You guessed it, Chuck Norris. So you guys got to watch me miss the biggest buck of my life. You guys got to see some of the most world-class, unbelievable whitetails ever. You don't want to miss part two next week. We got Chip City behind the camera. We got Ben Cotel. He is laying down the whitetail knowledge and I'm still behind the bow and I got plenty of blood sports and sharp rages, y'all. And I still got an Alberta tag burning a hole in my pocket. Oh yeah, and Will Simmons is in camp. He's got some giant golden horseshoe stuck so far up his butt that you know something's gonna hit the dirt. This is Fear No Evil, everybody. And this is the phone they got. This is what we got. Why don't you have those ones with like the, the really big numbers on them for old senile A jitterbug. I can't a afford that. You can have a jitterbug. A jitterbug, really? Yeah.